Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and Francis Ngannou. He is as intimidating a force as this heavyweight division has ever seen. He is the Cameroonian Frenchman, the predator, Francis Ngannou. And at any given time, prevailing wisdom is that Ngannou could be one win away from realizing a second UFC championship shot. This guy has taken shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Well, a few years ago, he was brawling in the backyard. Now he is on the UFC roster. Here he is, the internet sensation, Kimbo Slice. You know about the power, and he's worked very hard on the other mixed martial arts skills. We'll see if he can put that hard work in the gym into action in the octagon tonight. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Ariel Yamasaki. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis, the Predator! And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Alana Kimbo! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place Here right go, now. Round, I'm you very ready? excited. Let's go, First round underway. Well, every time we see Kimbo Slice, we figure to get a much improved fighter. Certainly that held true the last time we saw him in the UFC. And let's see what type of... Oh! Ngannou gets up again, but he looks hurt, Joe. He's gotten hurt here. hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. And that one certainly found the target. 
damaging strike there. There was a nice exchange. How about that shin? Nice one-two there. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. And a good body kick. Slice gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Jab. He tagged again. Engaging in the clinch here, Joe. And now he's got the tie crunch. Locks up the plum. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! This could be it! Hard straight punch. Oh, he's stunned again! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Doing an excellent job blocking. that again. And here we see it from another camera angle. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Like that, in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Ooh, blocks the shot. Almost hits him with that left hook. Oh, lands that punch. See the total strikes. And on his lower jaw, could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves oh. through. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He is clearly in big, big trouble here. Blocking all the shots oh. coming towards his head. Big shots! He's got him hurt here. Big straight punch. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, he tagged him to the left. He's got him right here. Good defense there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, another one! That's a good combination. He's hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Well, he was...
was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. 90 seconds to go. Oh, a huge block there. Wow! Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Oh, another shot, he's hurt bad. He's in big, big trouble here. The left hook hits home. There it is again. And let's check that out from a different angle. Beautiful. This one's all you, man. Knock them down, you're gonna knock them down again. I want you to finish them this time. Okay, go out there, set them. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. that chin. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's see it one more time from a different angle. Look at the power in this left as it shuts the lights out. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Ba-boom! So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number three. He's playing the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator and all right, so the Predator, Francis Ngannou, gets the job done yet again, and no surprise, with authority here tonight. Absolutely remarkable what this Cameroonian Frenchman has accomplished thus far, and the best could still be yet to come. 